Hi, I'm Jack Font and I'm a visual artist from Sydney and currently exhibiting at 220 Creative Space. Well, the, the first place I always start at is from the point of view of the individual as opposed to uh, a group or a, or a cultural um, uh, expectation or religious expectation. I'm always looking at it from the point of view of the person, quite often an outsider, who might not fit into a particular group. Um, and always from the point of view of the kind of thoughtful introvert or, or um, the person that's not necessarily following the rules but is thinking about how they, they might fit personally. Well, one of the images that I come back to very often and I think I will continue to is, is a, a gentleman who uh, had a, a, a life drawing class and he was the model, a fairly elderly gentleman and during the course of the class he was asked to pose in, in very kind of aggressive masculine warrior-like poses and then quite near the end of the class he, he just kind of lay on the floor in a, in a very soft vulnerable position and I just was so relieved at his the way he looked his, his muscles weren't tensed and he wasn't so sort of sinewy and <clears throat> so I drew did a quick sketch of him and I just keep coming back to that sketch. Well, quite often I, I'm interested in, in gender stereotypes and how to overcome them. It's always about the struggle to, to find your own path and, and whether that fits a stereotype or not is actually quite irrelevant in life. So, so again, with the gentleman, I, I don't always portray him as a male figure. To me, it's about the individual, the personal. And what artists have left impressions with you as an artist and how have they um, had a direct influence upon you, Jack? Very many artists. Um, probably one of the most influential was Grayson Perry. I, I adore how he is able to have elegance of form but also vulgarity in his content. It's like the full gamut of, of life, really, um, and how he lives his life so freely and he's always questioning uh, the influences that he's had and that comes through in his work. I also um, love Whiteley and Olsen um, for their, their beautiful tender lines that they employ um, and that's also what I'm searching for in my work is the, is the, the, the tenderness.